The Conti log supplies important measuring data for central questions like When does the panel cure? When does the mat reach 100 degrees Celsius? Can the pressing times for certain products be reduced? What is the gas pressure in the panel center? And how can blisters be avoided quickly and easily? This video shows you the easy handling of Conti log in a few minutes. This is what you need for measurements with the Conti log. A hand riveting press to activate the Conti log data logger. A color spray to mark the mat. Adhesive tape and measuring tape to measure different distances. And of course, the Conti log case containing the data loggers and the reader. Now, everything can be prepared. This diagram represents the forming and press line of a typical wood-based panel production. For precise allocation of the measurements, the forming and press line is divided into four zones. Zone 1. Depending on the product produced, the Conti log data loggers can be placed from above in the core layer of the mat, either in or after the forming station. Up to six data loggers can be used simultaneously. To be able to allocate the measured data to the press frames, a reference point each is marked before and after the press. Zone 2. Determine a reference point before the press, the distance of which from the first press frame is exactly known. For this, any position before the press in which the mark on the mat is clearly visible is suitable such as belt transfer, nose, or surface spraying. Zone 3. Determine a second reference point after the press, the distance of which from the last press frame is exactly known. For this, any position between press outlet and crosscut saw is suitable. This position should be located only a few meters after the press outlet. Zone 4. The panel with the sensor is to be sorted out in a suitable position. Take care that equipment to detect and sort out foreign objects, such as magnets or the defensor, is switched off. Let's go to the control station to prepare the measurement. First, each data logger that is to be used is activated by closing the electric circuit with the hand riveting press. The ID of one or more data loggers is now read in with the reader by pressing the key ID transmission. When all IDs are transmitted, go to the insert position quickly because the battery life is limited. Having arrived at the insert position, the measurement of the Conti log data loggers is started by pressing the key start measurement. The data loggers have to be placed in the core layer of the mat, in any position across the mat width. Take care that an assistant marks the forming belt with adhesive tape to be able to trace the position of the data logger. Remove the tape and mark the mat with color spray. When the data loggers pass the first reference point in zone two, Set the first timestamp on the reader. Set the second timestamp on the reader in zone 3. As soon as the data loggers pass the second reference point after the press. Take care that an assistant sorts out the panel that is marked with color. Go to the sorted out panel and stop the measurement of all data loggers by pressing the key Stop Measurement. Now, read out the data of the used Conti log data loggers by starting the data transfer with the reader. Ensure that the distance during transmission is less than 10 meters. If transmission errors occur, get closer to the Conti log data loggers. You can see how easy measurements with a Conti log by Grecon are. For questions, please contact our customer service. We wish you good luck with your measurements.